Welcome to Managing for Profit on Brownfield, a content partnership with Channel Brand Seed. I'm Megan Grebner. With us is Cody Hornaday. We're going to talk about Tar Spot today, but before we get there, uh, what are some of your thoughts as we head into this 2024 planting season? Yeah, thank you for the question. So, a couple of things I'm thinking about as we move into 2024 is definitely the markets. Uh, you know, I know that's at top of mind for a lot of folks. Uh, and so, being efficient with inputs this year is going to be one of the big things that uh, I think is going to be discussed this year. So, yeah. We know that corn prices are uh, seeing a, a lot of pressure right now. A little bit better temporarily, yeah. but, but not great. That's right. um, as we think about that, we talk about cost of production. We talk about efficiency. Mm -hmm. Tar spot is something that could potentially rob yield. What are some things that growers need to think about in preparation for this growing season as it relates to tar spot? So a couple things that, that I think about from an agronomic perspective is, is scouting is going to be key. Uh, so tar spot's something that now it's, that it's here, it's here to stay. Um, so it's a lot like gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, some of those diseases. Uh, and so we know that it could be a problem if we get the right environment. And so one of the big things to consider is just making sure you're scouting. Uh, so go out, you know, start scouting around V10, V12. I wouldn't expect it to be there, but it's something to start looking for around then. Uh, and certainly scout very heavily through tassel and parts of reproduction. Once you start to see it come in or hear reports of it in your neighborhood, uh, that's when you want to probably start taking action and uh, making sure you got a fungicide application on to help control it. Let's talk about how tar spot can impact uh, the crop in general. What are we talking in terms of potential yield loss, depending on when it comes in? So I think that's the big key is when it comes in, so that's an excellent point. Uh, if you have tar spot come in early in the season, you can see losses as great as 50, 60, potentially plus bushels an acre. Uh, and it's not necessarily just overall yield loss, it's the, the standability within the plant, stalk integrity. Uh, there's a lot of other agronomic issues that are associated with tar spot that kind of, it's a two plus two equals five type deal. Uh, so it's definitely something to, to consider. So you mentioned fungicide. Let's talk about treatment and preparation options. What do growers need to think about in terms of control and mitigating some of that risk? So a couple of the things to think about are not just timing, but also the, the product to use. Uh, so timing is, is tough for this one because I'd say over the last four years, we've seen it come in at different times. So sometimes we see it come in early, and when we see it come in early, we know we need to spray early. Um, and it's something that where you, if you put a quality fungicide on like Delaro Complete, uh, you know, you're gonna get 21 days worth of residual control there. And uh, you don't wanna put it on too early, because if you're not seeing the disease, uh, there's kind of a, there's a fine line there, I guess I should say. And so you wanna, you wanna put it on once you start to see it, or before as a preventative measure, if you know you're gonna have uh, pressure. So irrigated acres would be one situation where, uh, in my opinion, you need to plan on making that application to control it. Uh, and in other situations, you know, you may not want to, to do that typical VT application. If it's going to come in later, you might want to wait another week or so. Uh, so I'll give you the typical agronomic answer. It depends a little bit, um, but uh, definitely different ways to, to manage it depending on the pressure. How important is it for growers to work with their channel seed pros to figure out the right application, to figure out the right products, and making sure that they're doing everything they can, everything they can, to get the most out of their acres? So, uh, with tar spot, it's a little bit different because uh, you know gray leaf spot, different things. We have we have differences in hybrid and uh, as far as resistance goes. So that's one of the big things to talk about with your seed pros. There are differences in tar spot, but the big, the big thing about tar spot is that it's not. Uh, it can be really devastating even if you have a hybrid that is resistant to it. Uh, so if you get heavy pressure, that resistance is, is important, um, but it's not an end-all be-all. So we still recommend oftentimes fungicide applications to, to help with that. Uh, so your seed pro can help make that decision uh, whether or not you need to make an application. Uh, the other thing that they're going to do is know a lot about what's going on in their areas. Uh, so I, you know, agronomists like myself keep them informed and they, they talk to a lot of people themselves about how much pressure they're, they're facing in that specific area. And it can be very geography specific. So that's one of the big things that seed pros can help with is knowing their local area and how much pressure is going on. So. Cody, any final thoughts ahead of the 2024 growing season for, for uh, farmers? I think the big thing is just like you mentioned, work with your seed pros, uh, especially with tar spot, uh, but any other diseases or agronomic questions, work with those seed pros, get those local opinions, and uh, it should be a, a good 2024 season. I'm looking forward to it. Cody, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I'm Megan Grebner with Managing for Profit, a content partnership with Channel Brand Seed on Brownfield.